Hey, welcome to my channel as I share with you how to use tarot cards for journaling purposes. My cat's scratching over there. What I do is I use tarot cards on new moons and full moons just as a journaling tool. It's just a self-care strategy for me. So what you need is essentially a journal. I like colorful pens. You want to put today's date up there. You want to put full moon in Scorpio. And as I pull the cards out, take note of what is coming out. So the purpose behind tarot journaling is to unpack certain thoughts, emotions, and behaviors, or to see patterns that you haven't quite recognized. You'd be surprised sometimes when you're pulling cards certain cards that are repeating. So when you journal them, you start to see the repeating pattern. And if you have a repeating pattern come up, you're like, okay, I need to unpack this a little bit more. For those interested, I do have a tarot journaling workbook, which is available on Amazon. I'll have the link provided for you. I always take the bottom card for the overall theme and I just see what cards fly out. That's the way I read cards. So we have, oh, nice, eight of Eight is a major arcana. It is a strength card. So that is the overall theme. What are you feeling right now about being courageous? How are you integrating that lioness self, transforming from that silent lamb into a more lioness? How are you showing up? What a beautiful card. That's a great theme. So I just let whatever cards come out. And I got five all at once. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Next card, Major Arcana, again, is a death and rebirth card. Somebody's outside. Um, take notice of what areas of your life has transformed. What endings are coming? What endings are you ready to release in this full moon to make room for new? Great card. Next, we have the Justice card, another major arcana. What a great, great, great start to this reading. So we have the Justice card, and I want you to think about areas in your life where you feel like there's a, a lack of balance. Things aren't quite um, in balance for you. So the scales may be tipping this way. You're not in ebb and flow. It's nice that scales go like this, but you don't want them to rock. So just take a moment and look at the fairness that is in your life right now, where you need some more balance in your life. Next card we have come up was a three of wands. Wands is a fire energy card, and it is about creativity and fun. Three of Wands is representing just those rewards of hard work. She has been working really hard. What are you creating? What are you ready to celebrate? What are you ready to feel um, in acceptance for your hard work? Another great, powerful card. These are great cards. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is, there goes Bandit. Ten of Cups. Cups are water element. It's all about emotions. Ten of Cups is an emotional bliss, happiness. Where in your life do you feel ultimately happy? Full of love, you feel accepted. You want to explore avenues where you feel like you have a community. And the last card, another water card, which is Two of Cups, and we are full moon in Scorpio, which is water energy. Although it feels like fire, it is a water energy. Two of Cups energy is all about partnership, mutual attraction. That doesn't always mean love connection. That can be someone that you're creating projects on. It's someone that you just are in alignment with what you both believe in. Again, it doesn't always have to be a romantic connection. It can be a friendship. It can be a business connection. Again, great cards. I'm just going to review in case you didn't catch it. Strength card is your overall theme. Full moon in Scorpio is all about releasing heavy emotions. So take a look at what you're ready to release with this full moon in order to make room for new, that death and rebirth card. Take a look at 
patterns in your life where you don't feel in balance. As well, you need to take time to celebrate your accomplishments. Sometimes it's great to slow down and provide yourself with some play in your life. And then the last two cards are all about community. Where do you feel safe and secure? Celebrate that. And then celebrate the fact of new connections. It could be love. It could be partnerships. It could be business. Take care.